Hello, I'm Lauren and welcome into the studio. Today I am showing you a little compilation of some of my favorite pours. This one is called Refresh and it's a mix of deep teal, deep turquoise, yellow, silver gold and a bit of Payne's grey and it has this splash effect about it that I was aiming for. Because I want that splash, I'm very careful with how I blow the paint out on this painting. I'm wanting this nice hook look. If you'd like more detail about all the colours and the mixes, go straight to the actual video. I'll pop a link up right at the end of this little section. This painting is called Kelp Garden and the colours include deep teal and a light teal and some green and golds and I had to work really quickly because as you can see I'm blowing the white paint over the coloured paint right on the edge of the canvas so I had to move very fast so I didn't lose all my paint over the edge of the canvas but I was really trying to create a diptych that worked with that long edge together. There are lots of nice cells and lacing in this painting. If you want to see the full video, I'll pop the link up in a minute in the top corner. This is quite fun and what I really like about it is it can hang in the lengthwise position like this or it can hang in the longways position like this. This split colour pour is called Falling Into Fall and it has a whole bunch of colour in it. Uh, the base is basically Venetian red and raw sienna and then there are a whole bunch of other colours including like garnet and homemade oranges and metallics but there is deep teal in it, it's a metallic teal and it comes up looking absolutely beautiful. You can see the full video of this by following the link that's up in the corner. This painting is called Fire Vapor Rising. As you can see, it's an open cut pour and it has a deep teal metallic in it. And then it has some other really great colors in it. Garnet, Royal Ruby, Gold, you can, and it's a triptych. You'll see the canvases split in a little bit. I 
I'll pop a link to this video here as well. Challenge when you're doing a triptych is keeping the canvases together. I have a few different methods I like to use. But I'll pop the link to this complete video, the whole video up in the top right hand corner. When doing the open cut pours over multiple canvases, I really love it when they have that flow from one canvas to the next. So I do try and paint with them next to each other. And on these canvases, because they're actually thin wood, it's easy to get the flow down the side of the canvas. When you're working on those thicker canvases, that is a bit more challenging. Thank you so much for tuning in for some of my fave paintings. New paintings will be coming out soon. And uh, remember to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye. Don't hesitate to create.